Good afternoon, welcome back to my channel Lots of News. I'm Steph and this is my channel about my sewing journey. A journey to becoming a better sewer while still trying to cut corners at every opportunity. So I thought I'd do a quick July make because I know I'm woefully behind the schedule as usual, what you expect. But I did a fabric haul, that video will be up tomorrow. I'm quite excited. So I just thought I would talk you through my plans for this July. So I this fabric I have spoken about before and I've mm denied about what to make it. So I made the Albion brows by Peppermint Magazine. That's really pretty. I made the long sleeve version. It'll do me through like winter with a jumper. I'll look cute. But I think I'm gonna make a Alex play suit by Hello Workshop. And hopefully I'm gonna make that within the next hour. Like a super quick make. This is from my fabric haul. And I am going to make the Albion brows out of this because the material matches my H&M blouses, which I really like. It's got nice, a nice drape. It's quite heavy. I just need to iron it. And there, so that's two things I want to make this month. And then the third is a um, apple tree designs, grow with me, grow on me cardigan for my friend's son. And that'll be age three to six out of this cute material here. So I'm not pushing myself this month. Um, I will. I am just. Can I make that's a bonus, basically. Um, I have made a few things at the start of the month. Those videos will be coming at some point. Um, I actually might stick the fabric haul video at the end of this. So you can see if you stick around, you can see the fabric that I bought this month. I, yeah, I think it's the most money I've ever spent on fabric for me. Um, but. I did get it at a discount site. So, you know, more fabrics than money. Um, yeah, I think that's it. That three things. I'm not going to push myself. My husband's home, so I want to spend uh, more time with my family and um, and also more time sewing. So hopefully I get more done. But I don't want to commit to more because it probably won't happen. But if I undercommit, I'll probably end up making more. Um, I did have a really productive week the other week making stuff for my son. And it really gave my sewing mojo back, so... We'll see. I'm quietly optimistic. So, check in at the end of the month, see what the crack is. Cheers. And today, I have a fabric haul. I ordered this about 11 o'clock at night when I was feeling sad and tired. And clearly, my impulse control was nil. So this is from Pound Fabrics. I think this is the biggest ever fabric order I've ever done. I'm so excited. Okay, so first off we have some red corduroy. This cost me £11.85 and I bought three metres. As you can see, it's quite thick. Fluffy. I've never sewn with corduroy before, so I thought it'd be nice to try. I'm going to make the Tilly in the Buttons full length dungarees with these. If you see my last Tilly in the Button dungarees, you can see I didn't really get on with it that well. But I'm not going to put pockets in this at all, I don't think. Or I'll try and fit inside pockets. And I'm going to try and grade the pattern to fit my shape better. And one of the, uh, someone commented maybe a five on top and a seven on the bottom, which is what I think I will try and do. So three meters for just under twelve quid. I don't think that's bad. So next up is some lion faces on denim cotton look, and it is a cotton jersey. And this cost five pounds, and I got a meter of it. So this is something I will make for my son. Uh, I think maybe a cardigan and some matching leggings maybe if I have enough. This is blue cartoon faces. This is going to get made into a cardigan and whatever I can fit out of the rest of it. That is going to be for my friend's sons. Again, that costs five pounds for one meter. Elephants. 
cotton jersey. Six pounds. One metre. Yeah. Since his daddy is a sailor, and I used to be at sea, I've got this beautiful boat fabric, and this cost... This cost seven pounds, so this is quite expensive. This cost seven pounds, and again, I got one metre of this. But I just thought it was the most beautiful fabric. I love it, it's so, so pretty. Again, this is a cotton jersey. I went on this site to buy stuff for my son. This is Wild Animals, cotton jersey, one metre, five pounds. Again, really pretty. Really cute. Okay. This is... Okay, so this is a cotton jersey for me because in one of the sewing magazines there's a free cardigan pattern which I'm going to print off and make up. I thought just a nice, simple summer cardigan in colours I think might suit me. Well, I hope they do now. Look at how bright they are. And I like bright colours. This is a cotton jersey. This cost me £10 and I got two metres. I think that's what the pattern called for. Because after making the cardigans for my little boy, I just think this is a nice fabric to go with. I just love the colour. It's so it's very autumnal though. Not that much, but by the time I actually get around to using it and sewing it, you know, it's going to be winter. So I thought I might try, since they're so cheap, some different types of fabrics. Because I don't really know... Like, my fabric knowledge is very weak and I don't really go into fabric shops that often just because I don't like paying for parking and it's... Ah, uh, this was impulse purchases, so... This is a Berry Ponte Roma fabric. I got two metres for £7.50. Which... It feels nice. It's, I'm a bit sensitive to polyester fabrics if it's not the right blend. I have no idea what I'm going to make with this because it is... It is a stretch fabric, so maybe like a thin jumper, like a sweatshirt type thing. I have no idea. If you have any suggestions for this one, um, please let me know because I really don't know what to do with this. This was just an impulse purchase. I love the colour. I really, really love the colour. I love the bright pinks. And I think this will really suit me because I've obviously got dark hair. So I bought this mainly for the colour. Okay, this is a another, um, let's see what the fabric is, because I think some of my H&M shirts are made out of a viscose stretch, or just a viscose material. So this is a vis birds woven viscose stretch fabric. This costs £6 per metre, and I got two metres. No, it's £3 per metre. Sorry, it cost me six pounds and I got two meters. And I just thought the birds are really, really lovely. And it's, again, a different type of material to sew with. This, the aim of this year is to upskill and learn different stuff. So you can't just continue to use cotton your whole life. And I wanted to see like different materials because I'm not a fan of ironing at all. And now I have to iron stuff, I hate. I want it to see how different clothes react been tumble dried. I will put up everything I ordered. <gasps> so again with the bright pink this is a plain visco chalice fabric. This cost me £6.90, £3.45 and I got two meters. This is raspberry pink and it's, is it quite thin? It's quite thin, but I just thought it, again with the pink, it's nice and bright. I have no idea what to make with this. I have no uh, no project in mind for this. With the blue birds, I think I'm going to make just a couple of shirts, blouses, because I think they just go well with everything, really. This is a cotton poplin. I got four metres, and it was £2.75 per metre. And it is clocks on a brown fabric. Um, I've been researching like what sort of colours would suit me. And brown, a lot of, because I've obviously uh, white with brown hair and brown eyes and freckles. 
apparently brown fabric would suit me. This is not something I would usually buy because I think it's a little bit dull, a little bit boring, but I'm willing to give it a try, especially for the price of the fabric. So I got four meters of it because it's so cheap and it's something I want to make something and not really be really precious about it. And so we'll see. That again, I think this is going to be a blouse, maybe a couple of blouses. So this is, I got four meters of this fabric, this is the last one. And it is a red and orange flowers on khaki cotton poplin. This is 58 inches wide. And this cost £2.95 per meter, so a total of £11.80. So again, something just to try out my skills. This, I think I know exactly what I'm gonna make with this. this I think I'm going to make the McCall's M7906 and make this skirt which it will need ironing every time I wash it but I love the button details I love the fact that it probably fits my shape and I can mm, if it has a belt I can make it for the size I am now and knowing if my size goes up a little bit or down a little bit it will still fit and I think like in winter I can just put on thick tights or leggings underneath and it would give you like really cozy vibes. The pattern is a bit out there for me, but I think it's quite cool. It gives me like 70s vibes, I think. So and, and yeah, I'm fed up with kind of looking boring. I wanna, I wanna look cool, man. So yeah, I think that's what's gonna go with this one. And it looks, it looks like an easy make. So again, that was, quite a lot of meters four meters so yeah that is my whistle top fabric tool fabric haul i also have maybe bought some fat quarter bundles recently shall i out myself so i went to hobby craft today because i was feeling sad i got some space fabric for my boy i don't i think i i don't know what to make out of these i want to make some bummies but all the patterns are with a cotton stretch with like the jersey. So I think I might have to come up with my own pattern for this or hack someone else's pattern, but I will take you along for that. I was gonna do Christmas in July and it's now July and I haven't, but I bought some Christmas fat quarters. Um, I'll try and get some videos up. Uh, I just thought they were really nice really cute and then I bought some this has got tea pots on it's just really chintzy maybe cottage core you'd call it vibes I just thought this was really cute I thought I might make some headbands and some scrunchies out of these I thought they'd be really nice sort of Christmas gifts for people who are into that sort of thing but I just like buying fat quarters I just really like fat quarters which I know they're not the most cost effective, just since they put their prices up. And then I bought like 50 quid's worth of fat quarters from Aldi. This I've used some of them already. The cotton's really thin, it's not the best, but for just messing around, trying to come up with patterns, I've made um, a little jacket out of this for my boy. Um, like, I just think it'd be good for like little pouches and stuff. Um, so I just, yeah, it's cheap, it's cheap fabric, so I've made a bum bag out of this fabric from a free pattern, it's stuff that you're not worried about ruining, you've not spent like £10 for one fat quarter, it's not like bloody liberty that costs you an arm and a leg, so no, not all fat quarters are created even, so... That is my fabric haul. That is going to keep me on for ages. I have now no money, so that is it. No more, no more. And I can't wait to take you along with me to show you everything that I'm going to make. I'm quite excited. Um, I've made some clothes for my son and it kind of has brought back my passion for it all again. So hopefully this influx of enthusiasm will last 
And if you stuck around to the very end, thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next one.